Hey, 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 did you miss me? Well, it's okay, I'm here now, don't stress. I'm just kidding, I'm done with the dad jokes, sorry about that, moving on. So in our last video, which if you haven't seen that, what the heck are you doing? Sam talked a little bit about stress and you should have wrote down some people, places, or situations that sometimes stress you out so that you could identify where the stress was coming from in your life. So let me give you an example of what I wrote down. I wrote down that I get pretty stressed out when there's a big event coming up in my life that involves some sort of public speaking. Guys, public speaking freaks me the heck out. For example, when we found out we got nominated for the Teen Choice Awards, I could barely think about anything else in my life except for that. I literally had to take 10 days by myself to mentally prep for that situation. It was bad. The thought of going on stage on live television was super scary to me. And being the ambivert, semi-introverted person that I am, I had to take a long time, like I said, to mentally prep for that moment. You see, there was a lot of people that had no idea that that situation had made me super stressed out. But that's the thing about stress. It's a mental battle within yourself and people around you might not even notice. And guys, you shouldn't have to feel like you have to hide those emotions. Because when I talked to Sam about how I was feeling, it helped me feel so much better, you have no idea. But here's the thing I learned over the years about dealing with stress. When we think about things that cause us stress, they generally fall in two big categories. Number one, things we can change. Number two, things we can. So for example, if you're constantly stressed out because, I don't know, let's say you're running late to school or work, you can either change that by leaving earlier or maybe just explain to whoever drives you that it's stressful to always be running late and you need to try to get there on time. Something like that's just easily changeable and, and once you do it, problem solved. However, if you have a teacher or boss who talks to you in a way that causes you stress, that's kind of different. It's, it's pretty hard to change that about somebody. But what I can tell you is you can change the way that you react to that situation. For the things you can't change, remember that most things in life are a mindset. So again, guys, just changing the way you think might be all that needs to happen in that situation to relieve your stress. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Today, we are gonna talk about five ways to manage stress. Number one, learning how to organize and prioritize everything in your life. Two, taking care of yourself. Three, talking about or expressing the stress you may be feeling. Four, learning breathing and unwinding exercises. And then finally, avoiding situations that are stress magnets. So let's not waste any time here, my friend. The first thing you must learn to manage your stress is how to organize and prioritize your life. You see, a lot of the times we're stressed out because we have so much to do and not enough time to do it, or because we are always running late to school or work, or because we just can't find the things we're looking for. All of that falls under the category of not being organized. And I don't know about you, but I used to always lose simple things right before I needed to be somewhere, like my car keys or my phone. And then that just ends up freaking me out because I know I'm gonna be late, but all of that could change if I was just a bit more organized and had a place for everything. So what did I do in that situation? Well, little unorganized me ended up going to the store and buying a key rack so I would always put my car keys in the same spot, therefore never losing them ever again. And I know we've mentioned this before, but I also think having your own personal big calendar helps a lot because that way you can literally write down everything you need to be at or do during a week and keep track of it all right in front of you. And that's the thing guys, when it's in your head, it's, it's really easy to forget. But again, if you have something right in front of your face where you have everything planned out in your life, nothing will ever be forgotten. But besides that, here's a couple of other tips. As hard as it may seem, you need to learn to say no and you need to get rid of the stuff you have that you don't use or need. Why? Because having a lot of random stuff at your place can cause clutter and just make everything 10 times harder to find. And again, I know it's hard, but I promise it's gonna help your mind so much when you have a clean environment around you. And hey, if you need more information on organizing your life, you can always refer back to the old videos we have in the basics course. But let's move on to number two, which is taking care of yourself. And by this, I mean simple things like going out and get some sun, hitting the gym, eating healthy, basically doing anything and everything you can to make yourself feel the best because what I've learned is that if you feel weak or tired it's going to affect your stress levels like if I haven't slept well and eaten enough throughout the week and somebody rubbed me the wrong way it might completely upset and stress me out I always have to remind myself to be taking care of my body and giving it everything it needs to function properly but if somebody was pushing my buttons on a day and I feel great and upbeat I might not even bat an eye you know what I mean so like I said a great way to manage stress is just to make sure we are sleeping exercising and eating healthy. And despite 
what a lot of people say. Big doses of caffeine or drinking a ton of five hour energies can actually make you more irritable and anxious in situations that would normally be okay. So that's just an extra tip if you didn't know that. Don't go too crazy with the energy drinks. It can actually be a bad thing. But one more thing on that topic, I'm not saying you should never drink energy drinks. Just be cautious. Just don't go overboard with it. Number three, you're gonna need to talk about and express why you're feeling stress. Listen guys, no one wants to be that person who complains all the time about every little thing that's annoying. Please, don't be that person. However, holding it all in can be unhealthy too. You see, sometimes we as humans feel like when we're admitting something that's stressing us out, it's admitting that we're not able to handle a situation, which is not true at all. And guys, that's why I literally told Sam everything I was going through in my head and after we were able to talk about it and work things out, and I felt so much better about the situation. You see, all I needed was to vent to somebody for a second and just let all of that energy out. Some of the smartest and most successful people got to the place in their lives by speaking up and asking for help. So again, guys, if something is overwhelming you, do not be afraid to go talk to somebody about it. And what if you're saying, Colby, I don't have anybody to talk to about it. That's okay. You can also keep a journal or have a notebook where you can write down when and why you've been stressed. Because in my opinion, writing things down is just as good as talking about it because you're getting the stress out of your head in a way if you know what I mean and you can always look back at the things that have stressed you out in your life and try to identify the things that you can change when you have things in front of you in like a tangible form it's way easier just to like be able to organize your life that way you know what I mean releasing stress and negative energy inside your mind is a lot easier than you may think you just have to get it out by talking or writing it down and then number four just breathe and unwind. Because if you didn't know this, stress actually causes a physical reaction in our body. When you're feeling stressed, you might feel tense or have trouble breathing, turn red, or even feel like a tightening in your chest. And trust me, I know this feeling very well. It sucks and it feels like your body is doing everything in its power to avoid the things stressing you out and fight back. But when this happens, the most important thing is to try and calm those physical sensations down so you can focus on what to do next to work through that stressful situation. And like I've said before, in multiple different videos if you can trick your mind into thinking that you are fine and calm then your body will eventually follow you just got to take a step back and breathe just try your best to clear your mind and tell yourself that everything is gonna be okay guys I don't want you to ever be afraid to press pause or step back from situations that are causing you stress again just a few deep breaths can work wonders by getting oxygen to your brain and getting rid of some of those tense feelings and for some people listening to music is relaxing other people like yoga or maybe you like to just go on a job. Just find the things that help you personally feel less stressed and then make time for them every single day. But if the stress is occurring right then and there, all you can do is just close your eyes, breathe slowly, and keep telling yourself that you can get through this. And then finally, number five, avoid it when you can. Like let's say you have a classmate or somebody you're working with who's constantly complaining about things that just make you stressed out. For example, Mr. Jimmy over here won't shut up behind you in class and it's annoying because you can't hear the teacher and that's stressing you out because you have a test in a couple of days. And guys, you need to remove yourself from that situation if possible. Don't let Jimmy walk all over you, man. Like I remember back in high school, I would never be able to see the whiteboard from the back of the class because I'm blind as crap. But all I had to do was just go up and talk to the teacher and ask if I could move to the front and that made me feel so much better about not missing anything she was about to say and it's okay to create some distance and avoid a person or situation if somebody's being mean to you or bullying you at school and that's causing you stress it's okay to let somebody know how you're feeling also if you can't avoid that interaction in general you should just walk down the opposite hallway if you know there's a certain person that always gives you issues and remember guys your mental health is the most important thing in your life it literally impacts everything you do. So do whatever you can to protect it. So let's recap. There's five things that you need to do in order to manage your stress. Do you remember? The first one is learning how to organize and prioritize everything in your life. This means just have like a clean environment you're living in, get rid of all clutter in your house, and maybe even get a calendar to help you keep track of everything going on in your life. Number two is taking care of yourself, which is, you know, eating healthy, exercising, getting some sun, all that stuff. Number three, talking about or expressing the stress you may be feeling. Just letting it out by talking to somebody or writing it down can work wonders for you, I promise. Number four, just learning breathing and unwinding exercises. And if you guys didn't know, in the first course, we have a video called Pressing Pause, where we literally go through these exercises if you were wondering. But the most important part of that is that you're just telling yourself that you're okay 
breathing and getting through the situation. And then finally, avoiding situations that are stress magnets. Like my example of somebody in school, if somebody's giving you problems in the hallway, just walk down a different hallway. Just avoid that situation if you can. And now that we got all of that out of the way, I wanted to give you a little call to action. I want you to look back at the last exercise and the things that frequently stress you out. So write each one out and beside it, write down if it's something that you can change for a fact or if it's something that you can change the way you react to it. Then after you got that all figured out, jot down a couple of stress management techniques I told you about today that you can use to lessen or remove the stress you feel about that situation, place, or person. And then finally, think for a few minutes about the types of activities or things that help you de-stress. And I want you to make a list of these. And it could be anything like listening to music, exercising, visiting a friend, literally whatever. And during the times that you're feeling super stressed, just take out this list, look at the things that make you feel less stressed, and then incorporate them into your life.